Good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog. Holiday home vlog. <laughs> I'd like to work on my like breath holding ability. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start doing hypoxic. Is that the right word? Hypoxic sets? I'm gonna like hold my breath underwater. I'm okay. gonna become a, a, a breath holding champion. All right, I'm gonna hold you to it. That's that's gonna be your goal for 2022? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it might take me longer than a no, year. No, 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 you already said okay. it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll be doing this home vlog today. <laughs> uh, so one thing about this home vlog, though, is it's going to be a little bit of like a compilation of videos. So, yeah, we're just, we just popped in here to tell you that the home vlog is coming up in the next clip, but it's basically, it was a vlog that we filmed before Jackson's haircut, before his birthday. Mm -hmm. So in these, in the first part of this vlog, he's got long hair, which might be like shocking to some people. It shocked me. <laughs> yeah. And he looks so much younger and it's so weird because it was literally like a month ago. Right. And he looks like a totally different kid. Right. And then the second part of the home vlog, he got his haircut. So he looks like he does now, like more, a, a little older. Yeah. Cause he was a little Paying older. Paying his taxes now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what's happening in the, in the vlog. Yeah. So. On to the home vlog. Good morning! And today we're headed out to the <laughs> Celebration Farmer's Market. So we have some friends that we're going to meet over at the Farmer's Market. Um, I don't think we've ever been to the Celebration Farmer's Market, have we? No. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know what, what there is. I'm sure that people are like selling their goods, but I would also like to eat out there. Yeah. Because all of the other Farmer's Markets that we've been to have like food and stuff. I'll link some videos down below where we went to other Farmer's Markets, but I'm excited to see what Celebration has to offer, right, buddy? Yay! Yeah! Cool, and I think they're going to have their Christmas decorations out. Oh, yeah. I so... didn't even think about Christmas decorations. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> High five, buddy. We did it. Yeah. So let's do it. All right, we made it. We are now down here in Celebration. Somebody honk their horn. That's right. <laughs> hey. You know, oh, wow. I always like, I oh, like the wow. look of this street. Yeah. I just wow. wish there were more exciting businesses to check out because oh, it's all wow. like realty, a title oh, business. Wow. Oh. I wish there were more oh, like wow. shops. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Well, there are some up here. Are there? A little bit, yeah. All right, here we are. We've made it to Market Street. Look at that Christmas tree. There's an artificial ice skating rink. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but people are out in their like shorts and t-shirts. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Whoa. Right, buddy? Christmas. What is this? Oh, is this like where you put your skates on? Yeah. Put oh. your skates on here and then you go ice skating on the plastic over there. Oh, wow. So do you remember we came here a while back to this market, Cornerstone Market? Yeah. It was so good. Very delicious. I feel like we should eat lunch here. Maybe. So yeah. we're meeting our friends. I don't know where they are. I think they parked They're on right the They're right there. Side. Where? Right there. I don't have my glasses. I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> I, I believe you. But maybe we'll eat lunch there because it was so delicious. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Over across the street is where we used to get cookie dough. Now it is closed and now it's a place called Fortuna Bakery. So we'll have to give that a try one day. I'm standing right next to the ice skating rink. You can kind of get a closer look at the fact that it's plastic. These are very difficult to skate on. And then there's Christmas tree. Definitely a lot to see out here. And this is just Market Street. We haven't even made it to the farmer's market yet. Lots of different shops and places to eat and things to do here on Market Street. And then when we get to the end, there's the farmer's market. Ooh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff here. This would be so nice. Like, I would love to live somewhere where, like, these are, these are places up here that you could live. And then you could come down here and buy all of your fruits and vegetables. So they have them be fresh. So, so speaking of farmer's markets, one of the last things that we went to that was sort of like a farmer's market was the Blueberry Festival out in Mount Dora. And while we were out there, we found a coffee company called Black Brew Bros Coffee, and they make some delicious, delicious coffee. So this is before I was drinking caffeine and you still weren't drinking caffeine. They don't really have a lot of decaf, or they didn't at the time. Right. But we bought some for our friend, and he said it was the best coffee he ever had. Right. So, um, and a lot of you guys were interested in their brand when we showcased it in the last video. So um, we wanted to go see what they have. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check out if you have any new stuff. You never know. We might uh, have a giveaway by the end of this video. All right, so we made it over to Black Brew Bros Coffee, and here they are. How's it going? It's not bad, not bad. So last time that we were here, they didn't have decaf, but now 
We got some decaf. So I'm definitely gonna be walking away with here with decaf, and they have K-cups now too. Wow. All kinds of deliciousness. So if you guys are interested in trying or ordering some of this coffee, you can find them at various farmer's markets and things like that around town. Take, for instance, the Celebration Farmer's Market. So I was just asking, when was the next place that they're gonna be like at another place like this, like a farmer's market, so you can come and sample their coffees or purchase their coffees like in person. So they're always here at the um, Celebration Farmer's Market on Sundays, but then on Saturdays, they're in Winter Garden. Yeah. So if you guys are in either, oh God, oh God, oh God. Sabi. So, so if you guys are in either of those places and you want to check them out, I highly recommend it. So the other thing that we worked out is that they have a gift basket for you guys to win. So what we'll do is, what does this have in it? It's got a light roast, a light which roast, is Tanzanian pea berry, uh, the medium roast, which is Colombian supremo, and a dark roast, which is uh, dark roast Ethiopian nigger rafi cochino. Okay, and a little coffee cup too. So very cool. So the way that you guys can win this is follow Black Brew Bros on Instagram. And then leave a comment on their latest post and then jen and i will go through and pick out one winner and then you guys can try this coffee that's so delicious too yeah so or, like, thank you guys so much it's so awesome that they like the, they partnered with us to uh to give something away to you guys yeah so thank you this is great or if you're in town visit them at one of the farmers markets yes. please come and see them here at celebration on sundays or in winter garden on saturdays yeah so there's lots of other stuff to see you can make like a whole day of this but you for sure have to come and try the coffee yeah so this is this is what's in here is this Tanzanian pea berry. What are the what are the notes on it? Lemon, peach, and black tea. Yeah, that one sounds really interesting. What was the middle one? Um, the Colombian Supremo medium. Okay, Rose. honey and cherry. And then the last one is lemon and honey. Did you try this one, Jen? No, I didn't, but so we're here with our friends and our friend Matt tried it. Um, and he said it was really interesting. Okay. So very cool oh, give it a try so this yeah is, this is kind of like you know club cool at epcot for the sodas this is like that but, but for coffee, coffee. <laughs> yeah i like it so cool yeah <laughs> come check them out follow them on instagram and leave a comment thank you guys so much so another thing about their coffee is that it is fair trade no synthetic fertilizers or chemicals and then the decaf uses the swiss water process by soaking the beans for 24 hours it gets rid of 99.9 percent .9 of the caffeine as opposed to using a chemical process that most big coffee companies use. There are all kinds of other fun things here too. I like these paintings. I feel like you know that these are all natural because of the, the like coloring of them. Oh, and you get a pineapple. What are these? What is this? Is this a little, little baby mangoes? They're little baby mangoes. These are look like handmade wreaths. There's some Mickey Mouse ones here too. There's a place over here called We Butchered Plants. And they plant-based meats and cheeses. These are all the different cheeses that they have. And then pepperoni and stuff like that, different plants or different, uh, sorry, I call them plants, different meats, quote unquote meats. All right, so I tried the turkey and I tried the ham. The ham had almost like a ham texture to it. It was very interesting. Didn't taste like actual ham, but that's understandable because it's 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 a plant-based thing, but it did have a good flavor to it. So, I don't know, if you are like vegan, this everything here is vegan, like no honey or anything like that too. So if you're a vegan, come on out, give it a try. Oh, buddy. Did you find Mickey Mouse made out of horseshoes? Ooh. Tulip posies. They sell flowers. I like the name of it. And they got this little cart. This is my, my favorite is their, their slogan is pick flowers, not fights. Oh, yeah. I like that. This is a booth by Phases Company. And it's just an artwork booth showing off all of their artwork. I like this one a lot. That's cool. Oh, it's like Harry Potter stuff. That's one angry looking badger. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, this is neat. They have these like flannelly looking shirts and they sew on something onto the back of it. Like this one's gargoyles. And then kind of like a, a wintry Disney one. You can see she has Mickey and Minnie in their Christmas time stuff on the back of hers. There's a pasty shop over here. We can get homemade Cornish pasties. There's, there's a place here that makes fresh guacamole. Like they'll they'll 
mash up the avocados and everything. That sounds amazing. While we're over here, we might check on the menu for the Colombia. It's a gem of Spanish restaurants. Here we are, we're sitting at the Colombia. It's a pretty, pretty intense menu. There's kind of a lot of stuff on it. And they have this famous salad right here. I think what I'm gonna get is this meatloaf sandwich, that sounds so good. Ooh, buddy, are you eating french fries and chicken tenders? Oh, yeah, you have a thin salad. We ordered their famous salad. It's a 1903 salad. It's delicious. So wait, this is the salad that they're known for. It's the 1905 salad. 1905, I said 1903. Oh, was it? Ooh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Hi. And then we also got some empanadas. <laughs> so he brought over, we each got our own like individual Cuban bread. This is so soft. Oh, that's nice. This is like, oh my gosh, wow. You want to have a little piece, bud? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Tell us what you think. Is that good bread? Yeah. Um, really good. Good soup? Oh no, you dropped some chicken down here. Come on, buddy. You say good soup? <laughs> so, okay. So they're known for the salad. They make it table, they mix it table side for you, but it has ham, cheese, olives, a special dressing. They have like a special garlic dressing, I think. It looks really nice. Yeah, I'm excited for it. And there's the finished product. It's fantastic. Yep, it smells really good. And then we also got some beef picadillo empanadas. You like that bread, buddy? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> so what about the empanadas? Um, oh, okay, yeah. So we're here with our friends who are British. And so, you know, they have like pasties, pasties. which we, pasties, oh, okay. Which we bought some actually from one of the vendors here. We're right there. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> we got some from them. But I thought like, oh, we'll try these because this is kind of like a pasty, but a little different. So we're gonna see, see how delicious they are. Here's my meatloaf sandwich that I got. Oh, it looks good. Our friend got a Cuban. What is this called? It's lobster cannelloni. This looks, I have food envy. This looks so good. Okay, and what'd you get? I got the mahi sandwich. So it's like mahi, peppers, onions, uh, they're supposed to be mushrooms and then uh, cheese. Sneaky hand popping. They're all packing up now. It's supposed to end at two, but I guess everybody was told that they had to pack up at 1.30 today. So all of the vendors are packing up because it's not quite two yet. As we were passing by one of the shops, there is a sign outside advertising now snowing. So they're saying that every night at six, seven, eight, and nine, they have falling snow. Countdown to Christmas live concert. That sounds exciting. Carolers, photos with Santa, ice skating, and horse-drawn carriage rides, all here in celebration. And you can see all of these houses up here that say the names of the reindeer are actually, this one kind of looks like it's a light of some sort, but the one across the way is a snowblower. All right, we're back home now. Jackson is over here. He decided that he would sleep for 30 minutes on the drive home, and now he's playing with his tricycles, right? When I say tricycles, I mean, grandma got him a tricycle. And he had this one already. This one. So this one's a little bit too big for him still to reach the pedals, but he can reach the pedals on this one that grandma got him. So he's been testing it out. Jackson, what does mommy have for you? I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Come here and get the mommy. <laughs> Come here, I have to spray some chocolate sauce and some strawberry sauce on you. <laughs> Where's your caramel sauce? Come here, I'm gonna make you into the most delicious sundae. Uh oh, buddy. You Come know what here. I'm gonna get you. Come here, I have to eat you now. You're so delicious. Come here. Jackson. Let me take a bite. Jackson. You ready? Ooh, what does daddy have? Whipped cream on the buddy. <laughs> well, well, do you have the hiccups, the hiccups now? now? Too much fun? You want some yeah. water? Yeah. Okay, let's get some water. <laughs> you look tired, buddy. Are you tired? Say, yeah, because we didn't sleep. We never had a nap. We're very tired. So I slept for, for 30 minutes, Mom, on the way home. <laughs> Whoa, careful. Oh, no, getting whipped cream all oh, over no! the mommy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got strawberries right on your little belly and right on your head and right on oh, your toe. Oh, no, strawberry all over your pants. Don't Grandma got Jackson this train, and I wasn't sure that he was going to like it, but he loves this thing. He just likes like chasing the train around and like playing with the caboose and like ramming them into each other. And we it's supposed to make a circle track, but we made it kind of wavy. 
And then it goes to the end. And he always goes, come here. Right, buddy? <laughs> Show me your fox game, buddy. This fox is kind of mind-blowing because it's so smart how they did it. Apparently, it's, it's like a game where you have to put chickens in it. And then you press down on his head however many times. And then eventually his pants fall down. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Smart, right? Pants just disappeared. Hi. When Jackson puts on mommy's jacket, he looks like a like a like a wizard from Flash Gordon or something. Right, buddy? Yay. But this wizard really likes Cookie Monster. I cookie. Yeah. Man, I gotta clean up this mess. So it's actually a few days after the farmer's market and I decided to make the bacon that we got at the farmer's market. We'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna try to crisp it up like we would American style bacon. All right, let's see how they turned out. They look pretty good. They're a little bit burnt-ish. Like in the camera they look burnt, but in person they don't look that burnt. So let's give one a try. I feel like it probably won't work out the way that I thought it would because American bacon's like fattier. So it will crisp up more. Yeah, it's pretty good. Almost to beef jerky or like pork jerky status. It did need more fat to do that style of cooking it. I think I should have pan fried it. Let it sit in some of its own like grease and fry up that way. But it's good. Still like American bacon better. This is like super salty. But it does have a good flavor to it. So today, we're just kind of hanging at home. Jackson's actually down for a nap right now. So we are going to make some uh, vegan, what are they? They're mushroom Rubens. Ooh. Yeah, so this is from that purple carrot box that we've been using. And I have to say, so they we're already having like a little bit of a bad time with them. I'm not sure if there's a perfect meal subscription box. Right. I feel like you're always going to have an issue with these boxes, especially during the holidays, like during the busy seasons. So they did forget to send us the mushrooms. The but... mushrooms. They're literally <laughs> mushroom Rubens. It's in the name. Yeah. They forgot the mushrooms. So um, I still have to call them. Their their customer service is kind of like very limited hour wise, especially right now. So I've got to call them. But um, it does sound like it's going to be a very like a good meal. So should, let's make them. Yeah. Let's see. Should, should let's make them. <laughs> Look at that little buddy. He's Santa's official cookie taster. I like when he sleeps like this because he looks, we call him the vacation baby. Because he look, he just looks so relaxed. Right? Like, imagine being this relaxed. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am jealous. So this, what we're making is mushroom Rubens with parsnip fries and horseradish mayo. Parsnip? Yeah, so parsnips are like from the carrot family, I think. Oh. Carrot fries. Carrot fries. All right, so should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Look at these little parsnips. Ah, oh, they gave us the butt of the bread. Oh no. What the heck? I'll take that one. Oh, but that's like, look how little that is compared to this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so little compared to this one. I love it. That's gonna be mine. <laughs> that is not fair. Okay, so am I Olaf? You're Olaf. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so they did send us some vegan mozzarella. I'm kind of curious to see how this melts. What is vegan mozzarella made of? A nut. I would I would think a nut, right? I don't know. A nut of some kind? If it was some... made with nuts, it would have an allergen warning on it. Oh, and it doesn't. See. Yeah, it doesn't say. Ooh. Yeah, so what is it made of? Soy maybe? Magic. Hmm. Then it would have a soy warning on it. I don't know that. I'm not sure. Yeah. What if it's just made of cheese? It's just real cheese. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> um, they also gave us sauerkraut, some veganaise. I gotta say, I, I like the veganaise. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a weird flavor. It tastes just like mayonnaise to me. Yeah, it's only Got missing some... the egg. Is that what it is? Yeah. So it's just oil? Yeah. What's the other part? More oil. Is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. Got some horseradish, some parsnips, some caraway seeds, and some mustard. Okay. So let's get our vegan Reuben on. And mushrooms. Oh yeah, and the mushrooms. No thanks to Purple Carrot. So as of right now, I have like julienned, is that the right word? Mm, These... I don't think they're julienned. I think they're a little bit thicker than that. It's like a french fried yeah. cut. The parsnips. You cut up the mushrooms. Cooking up the mushrooms and the garlic. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells very nice. And then Tim made the vegan A's. I made uh, horseradish mayonnaise. Horseradish right? veganaise, yeah. And then we're gonna make caraway mayonnaise here to be on the outside. 
Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. So we're gonna cook it, like the, we're gonna cook the caraway seeds in the yeah. pan. Should be good. Sounds like it'll be good. I think this is gonna be a pretty good sandwich. This buddy is waking up. Oh. He's saying, feed me Seymour. <laughs> so step one, caraway mayonnaise. Ooh, that... Mayonnaise a lot of caraway seeds. <laughs> I think I got carried away. Carraway away? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay, so. You think that's enough? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't need that much. I don't I've never done this before. It's all new. You've made you've made uh, Not with the caraway seeds though. I'm like, do I need yeah. more? No, no. Oh, okay. It's kind of strange because it's a sourdough bread. Yeah. But you're putting caraway seeds on it, so it's like turning it into a rye. Yeah, I think that's the point, because it's a it's a Reuben. Oh, okay. And now what? Now you flip them over. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? It's going to come off. Well, no, this is how you do it. Oh, okay. How else would you do it? I don't know. It's like uh, levitate it? Yeah. All right, next we're going to add our horseradish mayonnaise. Our horseradish aioli, I'm going to call it. Sounds oh, fancier. Yeah. That does sound fancier. It's Why is this so thin? I don't know. That's what I was, It made me feel funny when I was stirring it. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot it was on the back. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oh geez, okay. Nice. What the heck? All right, so this is the what is this vegan mozzarella? Yeah. Oh, what's well, normally on a Reuben? Isn't it a, a like Swiss? Yeah. Hmm. Why is it mozzarella? I don't know. Do they because maybe they don't make vegan Swiss. Maybe that's what the horseradish is for. Okay. To give it that your favorite word, bite. Give it a little bit of bite. Mm -hmm. I thought my favorite word was dry, delicious. <laughs> You got a few. So do I... I would do it like a pizza. Okay. But I think I need to cover it. With what? The mushrooms, you know? Oh, like yeah, make sure that's there's I mean. mushrooms in every bite. Like a pizza. Okay. I'm just reaching in there with your hands, eh? Well, <laughs> I didn't have another spoon. My hands are clean. Does that seem strange to you? No, I'm a real chef. They do stuff with their hands. That's true. I want to tell you guys a story really quick. So one of the first times um, that I saw Tim after college... I went to his apartment and it was like a bunch of us were just like hanging out and we walked in and you were in the bathroom and we were like, oh, where's Tim? And you were in the bathroom pooping because you had just eaten a whole can of sauerkraut. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my first memories of you like after college. So what? <laughs> I'm just saying. How are you going to put me on blast like that? I just think it's a funny story. Jeez Louise. Well, you can tell a pooping story about me if you want. All right, one time. No, no I didn't. You can't say that. People will believe you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, that story was retracted. <laughs> Redacted. What's the word? We, I took it out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting the horseradish mayo on this side of the bread. I'm not touching the other side of the bread. Mm. Not going to do it. There's a lot of mayo. Are we supposed to use this? Yeah, it's like a dollop with the parsnips. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I think I need a cheese on this side because what's going to stick it together? You know? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. There you go. Now you just got to fry it up. Okay, let's do I it. I got to go get the buddy. Okay. He's awake. Good afternoon, bud. Jackson, say hello. Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? Two. Two, one. How many? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> There's only four, buddy. <laughs> four. Good four. job. What are you doing, buddy? Are you trying to find a snack? No. No? Water bottles. Water, Water bottles. You're right. Yeah. All right, and I am cooking up my the first Reuben, so we'll see how this turns out. This is Tim's here. He'd opted to take the one with, like, the, the butt of the bread. What? What? Ding, ding, ding. ding. Um, so we'll see how these turn out. I think it's going to be pretty okay. Oh, did you show him the parsnips get a little burnt? Oh, yeah. We accident That was my fault, because I was like, I think we need to cut them thinner. And then this is what happened. So, whoops. I think this one's like looking pretty good so far. Nice little crust on it. Oh, there's the first one. I think it looks pretty good. What are you doing crawling around? Sometimes he likes to crawl and I don't understand well, it. My favorite thing is he goes, I'm crawling. <laughs> yeah. Like he's so excited about it. What do we say? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even show you guys. So yesterday um, he really wanted to play golf and we have been, been talking about but we don't have it yet because it's not Christmas yet. Purple so, golfing. so we made our own purple golfing, didn't we? You want to show them? Yeah. Okay, let's show them. All right, buddy. Show me your golf game. Bing. Yeah. So he's got this little golf club that mommy and him made yesterday. He's using a racket ball right now because we can't find. There's like a little blue ball that we have somewhere around here. It's like a big rock 
Yeah, it's a fake rock for the dump truck. Yeah. And then we've got this cup from SeaWorld's Christmas celebration that we use as the hole. So let me see the hole, buddy. Let me see your cup. Now go get the ball. <laughs> um, I get the ball. You got it? Where's your blue ball? All right, now hit it into the cup. Uh, hit it with your golf club, buddy. Let me see. Yeah, look at this. A yeah. hole in one. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's all the way in, Daddy. Oh, okay. Look at that. Hole in one. Yeah. Nice work. Did you show everybody? <laughs> so we made this out of a pipe that we had in the garage and then a piece of cardboard that we cut into like the shape of a, of a putter and then just some tape to keep it like nice and strong and taped to the stick. And you colored it purple. So we had, because on the ship he had a purple golf club and so he keeps calling it purple golf. I thought that was because the ball was purple on his birthday. No, it was from it was from the cruise. Oh, which was it, buddy? The ball or the club? Well, oh, oh, the, the ball. You're just saying that. <laughs> also, did you see that he he's like run a hole through his sock today? Yeah, I did see that. Look at this, <laughs> yeah. buddy. You're wild. Yeah, you are. Did you hear him? You don't know? Okay, let's go over our favorite phrases that Jackson says right now. He says. Hey, come here. And I like that he goes, Psst, hey. <laughs> Can you tell daddy? Psst, hey. <laughs> and then he goes. Oh, my favorite is this. What do we say when we want something? What do we say, buddy? May I please? Yeah, he may says, I may please? I please. He's I've been working on that with him for a couple of days now. That was now. so good. You're so cute. You're mm. very, very polite. And I love that. Is this for mommy? What He's... else do we say? What's your, what's your favorite thing to say? Jackson, do you want to pretend candy cane? Yeah. Here it is. Here, I'll hold the ball. You get your candy cane. <laughs> what, what noise do you make? <laughs> More. Oh, how was it? How, what did it taste like? Good. Good? You want to pretend cookie? Yeah. Oh, that sounds so delicious. Is that yummy? He was making the noise upstairs when he would take it. He would go. <laughs> right, buddy? You want to pretend... Hot chocolate. Ooh, better drink it up before it gets cold. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, nom, nom, nom. That's what he does. <laughs> this is the first time that I've noticed he's starting to pretend and he'll start to do things where like he lined all these things up right here and he was like putting them in a specific order. I thought that was interesting. So we decided to split the butt sandwich. <laughs> Well, I figured it, little, it would just be fair if like, each of us had a good piece and each of us had a bad piece. Not that little, it's not bad, but you know. Little burnt parsnips in there. Yeah, we each have some burnt ones. I'm gonna, let me just try it in our horseradish mayo. It's pretty Pray good. Yeah. Show me the inside of one of your sandwiches. Mm, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see. Oh, it has a good crunch to it. Pretty good? Yeah. Jackson you think likes it's it. good? Um, I do like it. It doesn't taste like a Reuben. Okay. It's not bad. It just doesn't give me like a Reuben feeling. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's very creamy. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, I think it's the horseradish mayo. It's pretty good. Yeah, would you eat it again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. It is very creamy. And I yeah. think that's some of it to do with the cheese as well. You think the cream, okay. So I guess this kind of vegan cheese doesn't like, it. you know how some cheese has like the cheese pull? Mm -hmm. I don't think the vegan cheese really does that. I don't know how they could. All right, Jackson, go in the kitchen and count and we'll go hide, okay? All right, are you counting? <laughs> you found me. Now where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? How did you find me? Here. Oh, did Daddy tell you? Here. That cheater. The chair. Oh, the chair. the chair. I was hiding behind the chair. You're right. Somebody suggested that we get some disposable cameras for the next time that we go on a trip. So I got these. I'll give one to Jackson and see how he does the next time we go somewhere. 
See what turns up. I think it'll be just like 27 photos of his feet all at the same time. Just one right after the other. Oh, is Jackson asleep? Jackson asleep? We thought we have this game where we pretend to be asleep and then Jackson wakes us up. Okay, I'm going to sleep, buddy. Oh, oh, oh look, Daddy's sleeping. Who's waking me <laughs> up? Who did it? It was Jackson. Who was it? Did Jackson wake Daddy up? Yeah. Yeah. Did you show everybody what you got for your birthday? No, so, don't eat it. buddy, don't eat it. Jackson's cousins um, grew out of their play kitchen, so they gave it to Jackson. So he has this really cool play kitchen now, and he loves it. So it has like a like a fridge with little fake foods. There's a, a freezer. We don't have anything in the freezer right now. And then it came with like all of these little pots and pans and it is empty. And don't you love it, buddy? Is this your favorite thing? Empty. Oh no, why isn't there anything in your freezer? Oh no. Oh no. Did you put something in there? No. No. Yeah. And then grandma got him a tricycle. So we have like a tricycle stroller, um, but this is just like a plain old tricycle. And so far, he's really enjoying it. Oh, yeah, he has a little helmet that he wears with it. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute in his helmet. Oh no, should I draw you like one of my French girls? Oh, you have multiple French girls? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna draw you like all of them. Oh. Buddy. Hey. Is the chocolate sauce riding on the tricycle? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it fell off. And that, kids, is why you always put a helmet on your chocolate sauce before putting it onto a tricycle. It's true. <laughs> so always, always learning life lessons in right? these videos. It's true. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this home vlog, kind of like a mishmash of videos, compilation, I'll call mm -hmm. it. I really enjoyed it. I just finished watching it, actually. Yeah. And it was really good. I liked it. It was fantastic. I also do want to make sure that you guys go and check out the Instagram page, sign up for the giveaway. Hopefully you will win a coffee like prize pack. Yeah. It looked like a, a pretty awesome prize pack. So I hope that, uh, hope you guys go check it out. I'll link the link in the description down below and I'll put it on the screen right here so you know where to go yeah. to sign up. I will say, I was kind of proud of, I know that was, I'm gonna toot my own horn here. So I was proud of myself and I didn't even know that I did it, but when I was filming with them, their Instagram and the website for like for ordering coffee shined like right in the middle of the shot. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> so, oh, it was a fantastic day. Had a super fun time at the farmer's market. Well, I also wanted to say like, thank you for hanging out at home with us. We yeah. had a lot of fun. I feel like this was also a little update of Jackson. So he just turned two. This is kind of showing you like the things that he knows now, the things that have sort of changed with him over the few months. I, I don't know when the last like update of him that we did was. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so he is, you, I don't know, he's he's fun to kind of like see all the different changes that he goes through. Yeah, that hide and seek scene that we did was amazing, super fun. <laughs> we actually played hide and seek with him last night. Like he just loves hide and seek. It's, yeah. it's super exciting. And with Christmas coming up and we have his cousins are coming over, I feel like he'll have a lot of fun playing hide and seek with other kids. Yeah. So I think that'll be a, a fun thing to see. Yeah, so all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price. And happy holidays.